I knew that this is something that needed to be documented and also realized that there was no one else that was going to be here to do it. My name is Jeff Rohde. I'm a multimedia specialist at Holy Name Medical Center. When this all started, uh, I was working seven days a week for about three weeks, and I would say about 80 to 90 hours a week. I wasn't alone. There were, there were many people that were doing that. And it got to be where somebody made a joke that you, on their calendar they crossed out the first couple letters of each day of the week, so it just said day, 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 because you didn't even know what day it was anymore. One of the concerns I had, I guess, was the fact that I, I do touch the cameras and I do, they do go up to your face, so that was of concern. When I first started photographing the faces of the Frontline series, I wanted to show that everybody was working as hard as everybody else. There was no one superhero, everybody was a hero, and I think that that was the biggest reason why I started going from person to person. There's something compelling about just seeing the eyes, and there's, there's something compelling about not being revealed 100% and you just don't know what's going on under that mask, but you can, you can tell looking at the eyes what's going on inside. The one series of images that stick out in my mind was, uh, was with a patient, his name was Louis. He was unconscious and on a ventilator. Uh, the nurses were standing there holding his hand and, and touching his shoulder and telling him that they were there for him and that his caregiver loved him very much. At that point, put down my cameras, I went over and, and I was sort of assuming the same role that they were as uh, what I consider a surrogate family member, to just be there for the person. He didn't die alone, he was with somebody the entire day. He was with multiple people that were talking to him, holding his hand. So it, it really is a, a much more emotional experience when that happens. And that's, that's what sticks out in my mind right now. I've seen an amazing team that just work together to, to hold it together for the community. Um, I was just impressed every step of the way at how everybody grew, not just me, but everybody that I work with seemed to grow and, and do what they needed to to support each other. Uh, I've gotten a lot of supportive comments from colleagues and um, quite honestly from people at different different hospitals, people who are family members of people here that, that work here, people who are family members of patients here, just saying it did comfort them to see what was going on inside. And there was a lot of mystery to it, not just, not from us, but just on a whole, there's a lot of mystery to what, what was happening inside hospitals, and it really made them feel better just to see, uh, see something that was documented. I guess I would like to be remembered as telling an honest and accurate story and, and, and shedding as much light on this as I can.